This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. What's going on guys? I'm Mark Linsinga from Techno Buffalo and this Tuesday we're going to do something a little different yet again. Today I'll be sharing with you guys my top 5 launchers for Android. So let's get started. If you guys haven't seen what's on my phone video, make sure to check that out because the first one on the list is Nova Launcher Prime. This is my go-to launcher and it's one of the lightest and most featured pack launchers out there. It offers tons of customization options like transition animations, use icon packs from various icon packs from the Google Play Store, and the ability to prompt Google now by using a hot word like, okay Google, how tall is Anna Kendrick? This feature is something we've only really seen on the Google Now launcher and everything about Nova launcher is great. I haven't had any problems with this launcher in any of the phones I've tried and just the other day Nova launcher updated their app to version 3.1 and it introduced a few new features like transition animations which allows you to set a certain animation when accessing your app drawer for example. And overall this launcher is just super stable and if you buy the add-on prime version which I have here you can actually unlock a few more tweaks that you may find useful like the ability to swipe on an icon and set custom actions for swiping, ability to set unread counts on supported apps like Hangouts, and there's a few more on here that I'm sure a lot of you guys will probably get a kick out of. The second launcher would probably be the Google Now launcher, which I really, really like for some odd reason. I know John uses this launcher on his OnePlus One and he can't stop raving about it. If I wasn't using the OnePlus One with the updated Trebuchet launcher and wanted to get a bit more of a stock Android feel, then the Google Now launcher is probably my first choice. Like I mentioned earlier with Nova launcher, you can prompt Google Now by using a hot word, but with the Google Now launcher, you also have access to your Google Now page by just swiping to the right, which can be really useful if you want to use Google Now on a daily basis. Unfortunately, it doesn't offer many customization options like Nova Launcher. This is bare bone minimum stock Android, and if you want to get a feel for stock Android, then the Google Now Launcher is the best one out there. Third launcher on my list would have to be Action Launcher. And right now it looks just like my Nova Launcher home screen because when you first set up Action Launcher, you have the option to actually import your home screen from your previous launcher. And the cool thing about Action Launcher is that it looks and works like any other stock launcher, but comes with their own little twist. They have this thing called shutters, which sort of acts like mini widgets for various apps. So if I swipe down in my calendar, it'll show me my agenda for the week. And that goes for the other supported apps as well. Talent is supported and I can view my timeline and compose a new tweet without having to launch the app if I want. And up at the top, there's a few icons like search where I can search various things on my phone or directly to Google. And right next to that is a shortcut for the Google Play Store. And there's also a menu button right next to it to access things like the launcher settings. Now they also have Quick Drawer, which acts as your app drawer. It'll list all your apps in an alphabetical order. And you also have access to your widgets here, which you can drag to either your home screen or to your quick page if you want to quickly access your most recent apps or most used widget with just a single swipe. Unfortunately, most of the ideal functionality that users would want in a launcher isn't available in a free version. And Action Launcher really wants you to buy the pro version, which is pretty much everywhere in this launcher. So let's take a quick break from this video to thank our friends at Dollar Shave Club. Buying razors suck, right? Right? You gotta walk to the store, pick out a razor, and shell out $20 for some ridiculous shave tech you don't even need. Fortunately, there's a company that's doing away with all that ridiculousness. It's called Dollar Shave Club, and it couldn't be any simpler. For a few bucks a month, Dollar Shave Club ships amazing razors and other bathroom stuff right to your door. Their blades are just as good as the big shave companies at a fraction of the price. They've also got Dr. Carver's Easy Shave Butter to make your shave even more buttery smooth. Shave time, shave money. Join now at dollarshaveclub.com slash technobuffalo. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash technobuffalo. The fourth launcher I wanted to share with you guys is Buzz Launcher. Maybe the most prominent feature of Buzz Launcher is that it allows its users to download complete home screen setups. Now, don't get that confused with themes since it's a bit different. Apart from coming from their own icon sets and wallpapers, these setups also rock their own layouts, making each home screen setup completely different. Now, when you first download Buzz Launcher, you have the option to choose from your first home pack, but you can always choose from thousands of home pack through the home pack Buzz and download the one you think is the one for you. There are tons of customization options here and you can change pretty much everything and anything on here to where your Android device won't look like an Android device anymore. All of these themes are user made and if you happen to make one from scratch, you can also choose to upload that home pack you just made for others to try which we've never really seen before in other launchers. Overall to say the least, Buzz Launcher is a community based launcher and if you're one to tinker with your device, I think you'd want to give Buzz Launcher a try. 
Now the last launcher I wanted to show you guys is Aviate, which Yahoo surprisingly bought earlier this year for $80 million. This one's probably one of the more unique launchers I've used so far. It essentially allows you to change the way you use your home screen and it gives your phone a completely different look from the typical Android home screens that we're all used to. Sort of like what we saw with Buzz Launcher, but with a more toned down look. When you swipe left, you have a collection of apps that are organized in different categories and it basically organizes your app collections based on what you're doing or where you are, whether you're at home or at work. And when you swipe again to the left, you get a list of your apps in alphabetical order, sort of like any regular app menu. Now, if I swipe to the right from my main homepage, this is my today view, sort of like Google Now. And it basically shows what I have going on for today, today's weather, Yahoo's own newsfeed, and you have the ability to add your own widgets too, like I have. Swipe one more, this is where you can access different modes and settings that Aviate offers. For example, when you're out and about, your home screen will automatically change to moving to quickly give you the option to navigate to home or work, access Google Maps, Uber, or whatever transit app you have installed on here. And the same goes for the other mode that's on here too. It, it's not as complicated as Buzz Launcher, but it does look really nice and very unique in my opinion. All five launchers are available via the Google Play Store for free and the add-on prime and pro versions for nova launcher and action launcher is only four dollars which i think is worth the buy anyways that's it for this video guys if you guys have any suggestions on what launchers we should try out next let us know in the comments down below and as always i'm mark linsanga from techno buffalo i'll see you guys in the next video thank you guys for watching this video and if you guys would like to see more make sure to hit that subscribe button down below